everyone, it's Allie from Titan. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some, not, oh, it's upside down. Some, not an older product per se, but it is a product from last year. We did get a restock on. We do have actually a couple cases worth of the 2019 Star Wars Masterwork. And this, of course, is a Topps product because they have the license. But, just saying, we do have this back in stock and it is actually pretty cheap compared to when it released. We are having personal breaks available for $159.99 shipped. Or if you want the box, you know, to open it up yourself, it is just an extra five dollars for shipping. All breaks ship free at the one fifty nine ninety nine. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to follow that link at the top of the description down below. But we're just gonna be opening one up just in case anyone forgot what they look like. Plus, I just you know I was like, hey, we should open one just to check it out because I love Star Wars product openings and Masterworks is one of my favorite set because there has potential for really cool autographs. Really, you know, like they have autographs on wood cards. They have different metal cards there's always really awesome sketches and masterwork so i'm excited to see what we have in this box because you might notice on the front it is ewan mcgregor right there he does have autographs in this product so getting one of those would be insane but i'm excited to get right into it so let's snap me into the corner all right and let's get started on this box of masterworks 2019 and slice right there hopefully oh there's a seal down at the bottom that i'll have to cut I'm used to Upper Deck products only having that, but Masterwork does as well because the box is kind of floppy. You know, it is kind of like this. And we open it up, we see four Obi-Wan staring at us. And it, Masterwork is a product that is like one master box with two autographs guaranteed per master box. And there are four mini box. Each one does have a hit. There's cards like medallions that count as a hit, film cells, where you can get autographed medallions, things like that. So I hope we get something super awesome. Let's start with this mini box right on the on the right. it is just a little box like this and of course depending on which box is heavier you can kind of tell which packs have medallions so it is always a gamble if you're someone that like i don't want to spend that much for a full box and you just want to buy like a mini box online just be careful with that because people do weigh boxes and things like that we don't do that here but you know just be careful with what you're ordering when you order loose single boxes so we have these beautiful base cards and we have our first hit it is a film relic you know film cell relic it does have yoda on it and they are all considered one of ones because they are the film relic. This, uh, I figured I'd try this just to see if it would work, but you can't really see it anyway. Unfortunately, it is very dark, but it is, you know, scenes with Yoda on them. I thought, you know, a suggestion the last time I looked at some film cells to hold up one of the little upper deck spacers behind them, but unfortunately it did not help very much here. But since this is a this is a box for the shop we will be listing these cards on ebay our ebay store later today so if you're curious to see that picture i will be taking it on um usually what i do is i just google white screen on the computer and then i hold them up to the computer and take pictures of the background like that so that way you can see them but these cards may are made out of acetate so they can't scratch so you want to make sure you get them sleeved up so that they stay safe and we have one of these insert cards Defining Moments, number 21, and a green parallel of Han Solo. That is number 43 of 99. This box feels heavy. I wonder if this is a medallion box. So we do have, I pulled off to the side, we have two boxes we're going to be opening. This is a celebration for May the 4th Be With You on Monday. And then there's one box left in this case, and then we have three full cases of Masterwork available, so definitely, like I said, if you're interested in that, check that out. There's a big chunky card in here. That is going to be a medallion. Be cool if it was autographed, because you can't get autographed medallions, but let's start here. We have a canvas parallel. This is numbered out of 25 of Admiral Raddus. See? Number 14 of 25, Heroes of the Rebellion, number 14. So, so eBay 101, card number 14, uh, number 14 of 25. That is a canvas parallel. We have, we have received a commemorative artifact medallion of Luke Skywalker's compass. It is just a base medallion, not numbered. Medallions this year, for me, I was not a fan of. If you watch my collection video, you see that I really am a big fan of the medallions from Masterwork 2017. Even though they all are like, you know, fake hits. But um, I was not a fan of the designs on this year's. I like the 2017 ones much better. Insert here is the Rebellion number six and a blue parallel of Rose T. Hill. Let's get into the next box. There is a masterwork opening on it. Ooh, this box feels really light. 
So these are going to be two autograph cards. If not, we're going to have to have a conversation with Tops because there are two autographs guaranteed. But we do have an older Masterworks opening on the channel. Make sure you check that out because we did actually hit a gold one of one base card parallel in that box opening. So if you haven't seen that one, I definitely recommend checking it out. We have a Supreme Leader Snoke base card. Hondo. Oh, I'm actually going to save the autograph for last. We have a blue bears parallel of Bodhi Rook. Insert of Defining Moments R2D2. Number 14. And then, let's see, flip over this way. We have a blue autograph of Fred Tataskiori. Or Tata. Skiwuri. Unfortunately, I have not watched Resistance, so I'm not familiar with the voice actors or how to pronounce her name, but this is Bulls of Gruel from Star Wars Resistance. And they are on-card autographs. This one is number 92 of 99 because it is a blue parallel. And then just that one hundo base card that we uh, used to block the autograph reveal. Let me sleeve this one up real quick. So that is our first autograph of the box. It is a blue autograph. And let's get into this other box, which also feels heavy. I wonder if it's an autograph medallion. But, um, that would be cool. Because you can get, like, Daisy Ridley autograph medallions. So that would be sweet if we got one. But let's see what we've got here. There is, it might be an autograph medallion because there is a medallion in here. And we have a, I'm assuming that's going to be a green parallel Lando on the back because it's numbered down to 99. But let's see. We have a Yoda base card. We have a rainbow foil parallel of the Kylo Ren Defining Moments insert. That is numbered out of 299 if I remember correctly. And then yes, we do have a green Lando Calrissian. Dark Bear 54 of 99. And what is this back here? We have a Heroes of the Rebellion insert of Chewbacca. That is Heroes of the Rebellion number 4. And for our autograph reveal, we have... A Kenneth Colley as Admiral Piet medallion autograph. I know some people said this kind of looks like a chocolate bar. I have to agree. It is supposed to be the Imperial rank badge, but it just kind of looks like a Hershey's bar. So that is an autograph medallion with uh, some bonus. A little, looks like some fabric stuck in there, oddly enough. Some kind of, not sure if that's on the sticker or, looks like it's under the sticker. So thanks Tops for that bonus. But that is our second autograph of the box. And yes, the rainbow foils are numbered out of 299, number 244 of 299. That in our parallel pile. So that's cool. It is, unfortunately, the autographed medallions are on sticker. Whereas, unless it's like a dual autograph or like a booklet, the regular autographs of the set are on card, which is always nice about Masterwork. So if you do get an Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan, it is on card. Haven't seen one myself. I know the gold frame 101 has been pulled, but other than that, I have not seen one. That is it for this box. Let me do a quick recap of all of our hits. We did get this one medallion earlier, Luke Skywalker's Compass. Non-numbered, just a base medallion. And we also got this Yoda film self, which doesn't show up on camera very well. Had blue autograph of Bulls of Gruel, numbered out of 99. That's cute, the little, little thing on his shirt. 92 of 99, and then the autograph medallion of Admiral Piet, played by Kenneth Colley. So that is it, and uh, kind of like a bonus, we did get this canvas Admiral Radis, which, which looks cool. I like the canvas parallels. I'm not a fan of this insert set in particular, but I do like canvas parallels. I think they look nice. That is 14 of 25. So that is all for this box. If you saw this box and you want to give it a try yourself, we are doing personal breaks, like I said at the beginning of the video. If you don't know what a personal break is, make sure to follow that link at the top of the description down below where you can learn more about me, about our store, about personal breaks, and what items we do have available for personal breaks. But, which, speaking of personal breaks, we do have quite a handful coming up today. We have two more boxes of Credentials Hockey. We also have another Women of Star Wars, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And we have a box good old throwback to 2019-20 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. So if you're interested in any of those things, make sure you stay tuned because they will be coming later today. As I said earlier, I don't know if you caught it, but we will be opening up two more boxes on Monday of Masterwork, just a celebration for May the 4th, Star Wars Day. Gotta, you know, always, always love an excuse to open up Star Wars product. But that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a little like. 
If you want to see more from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate it. If you did make it to the end, watched it all the way through, it means that I didn't bore you guys, and you guys find me somewhat entertaining, which I really appreciate. The channel has not been around that long. It is May 1st. And I only started this channel at the end of January, and we are almost at a thousand subscribers, so that's really awesome. So if you aren't subscribed yet and you like to watch my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are getting super close to the thousand mark, and that's that's a pretty big deal, especially in like YouTube turns, terms, turns, like YouTube turns. What's a YouTube turn? But YouTube terms, so that's really awesome. So I'm excited looking for that. The number goes up every day, and I thank you all who are out there who love watching my videos, love leaving comments, love liking, and love subscribing. I mean, you can only subscribe once, but you guys know what I mean. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you all in the next video. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye!